Very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You just right in time for farm drive today. I'm not alone. We are with. <laughs> I'm Dana Mdega. Dana Mdega. Yes. My name is Brian Wanda. Dana, welcome to this conversation. Uh, thank you so much for the invite. Huh? Yes. I'm so in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you did. You did one show in the morning. Yes, I and did. And right eh? now, and uh, right now, I'm sure um, we're gonna hit the road running. Yes, I am good. Today, we want to talk a very about a very instrumental um, conversation. Every eye right now, every mind right now, every ear right now is focusing towards the electioneering time. Politics are on high levels right now. I tell you, uh, this, uh, in Bungoma, mm -hmm. right now, so speak, eh? yes. uh, a very, uh, someone mm -hmm. very influential is mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. and nothing is going on there. Everyone yeah. is in the rally. Everyone, Everybody. like literally everyone. And even those who, are, who have their shops around, mm -hmm. you see when a big crowd has gathered, Yes. Uh, probability that uh, people will be roady and all that mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. it's very high. So people have lost their business because you don't want to take chances when mm -hmm. it comes to the youths and politics and all that. So you'll find out that these things uh, are mm -hmm. really disrupting the normal activities of the day. Absolutely. Yeah. And, 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 and as we talk about this conversation, the key question today I want us to answer and at the end of the day, you as the viewer and listener and everything that you're doing around today, you can understand what to ask from your leader. Yes, it's very important to know, like, what am I supposed to ask eh? yes. or what is my leader supposed to do for yes. me? And it's, it starts with the right question. Yes. It starts with the right question, like... Yeah. If you if you ask the wrong question, mm -hmm. you get the wrong answer. Yes. Then you get the wrong output. Yeah. You ask the right question. Yes. You get the right answer, mm -hmm. and then we are good to go. Absolutely. So today we want to look into the agricultural sector in specific, because there is so much um, much aspirant is, uh, aspirants are asking and telling us. Actually, it's really interesting. Um, once you just go around looking at billboards, people are saying we're going to streamline infra uh, agriculture. Like, uh, and, it's, uh, it's crazy first that uh, people are just willing yes. to be duped by these leaders. Yes. Yeah, like, these leaders have been there. They've mm. always been there. Yes. And there's nothing that I've done. Yes. But again, they are coming back mm -hmm. to convince you yes. that they're going to do this. Yes. How sure are you that they're going to do it? And today is why we want to know what to ask from what leader. From the, they call it six piece. Mm -hmm. From the MCA level, member of county assembly. Yes. To the MP level, mm -hmm. to the governor, to the women rep level, to the senator, and lastly to the president, the highest office in the land. Of course, that is very important that we start with each and every person because yes. I think along the way we mm -hmm. confused we're supposed to do this, yes. we're supposed yes. to do that. Yeah. Now that you, you find that uh, when things are going wrong, mm -hmm. we are going directly to blame the president. Yes, yes. Are we really supposed to follow that channel that uh, the fertilizer prices have gone up? Mm -hmm. It's okay they have gone up. Yes. Uh, it's not okay actually they have gone up, but uh. <laughs> the situation is yes. it is up. Yes. Who is the first person are we supposed to task? Yes. Who is this person mm -hmm. that we should approach first before we start the conversation like the president should do this? Yes. Is there a channel that we should follow mm -hmm. in such a way that we will get help because uh, reaching the president is not easy. It's yeah. not a, it's actually impossible. Yeah. So maybe we'll see those hashtags in mm -hmm. the internet, mm -hmm. but again, does he really get to respond to those hashtags yes to those claims does mm -hmm. he really get that time yes and does even like does even have that energy to respond yes so who are these leaders mm -hmm. directly absolutely From mca mm -hmm. where do we go mm -hmm. and with this person we're supposed to be like a commoner mm -hmm. to utilize the situation yes yeah Absolutely, and that's the conversation you're going to have here um, at Farm Drive from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. where we want, at the end of this conversation, you're going to ask your leader the right question in agriculture specifically. Yes. And actually, um, you know, it's, it's really interesting that everybody's streamlining agriculture on their billboards. Like, you know, how are you going to streamline? How are you going to fund these budgets? And how exactly are you going to even move some of these policies? Because... It's it's very it's very hard for and I saw this as a as a as a as a as a as a, um, as a biopolitical analyst mm -hmm. that it is very hard. 
to push an agenda kama ulikuja independent like as an independent candidate aha uh-huh. without a political party mm-hmm. because what happens is um, it's hard for you to move because what you do you need to mobilize and what a party gives you it's it's a, it's a, I will call it it's an anchor mm-hmm. you know yeah so it, it solidifies you. yeah uh-huh. yeah so it's easy for you to sponsor a bill through maybe for example any party with numbers that's uh-huh. why you see leaders always asking for numbers Diana, uh, Diana, this is a very big conversation we're going to have today. Uh, before we really move fast, now that mm-hmm. uh, you're saying that, uh, mm-hmm. uh, have you ever seen an independent candidate mm-hmm. who is very vocal in parliament? Um, independent candidate? Yes. But it's really interesting. Yeah, very, have really you ever seen question. anyone who went there independently? Mm-hmm. Uh, there was that guy who just rose to fame, oh, he was independent, and then uh, mm-hmm. uh, the president noticed him, he's young and all that. Mm-hmm. But where did he even go? You know, actually, um, you're talking about one of the members of parliament from, uh, I think that's Tigan, Tigania or Igembe, Igembe East or West. I can't really remember oh, because the guy them. disappeared in thin air after being given a good yes, car. Yes, yes. Uh, because he was independent. So now that you have said that pushing yes. a bill in parliament, yes. it's a very difficult uh-huh. because you have come independently. Yes. I think now it's making sense. Why these people go there, mm-hmm. they really have good agendas but mm-hmm. again i think the agendas is just shut down by the time they say i have this and then i will to leave yeah absolutely yeah. so today we want to understand um even as your member of parliament comes and tells you that oh i'm gonna push this agenda oh nini, nini, nini. tell us how you're gonna push that agenda specifically <laughs> That's a very big question, by the way. Like, a, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Apart from even the funding, uh-huh. where everybody is coming in to say, oh, tutakuwa na hii pesa, tutaeka hapa, hii uh-huh. pesa pale. Uh-huh. They need to tell you how they're going to even raise the budgets for the same. And even to agriculture, which, which we, we live on. And then I want us to tell our audience where they can be part of this conversation. Of course, they can be part of this conversation mm-hmm. uh, at Twitter. Mm-hmm. Make sure you search uh, Afamas Media mm-hmm. underscore, yes. and then you'll get it, uh, you'll get us there live. Yes. And then in, uh, right now we are in Facebook Live. Yes. And even in YouTube we are mm-hmm. very live. We are streaming right now. Yes. And in uh, Instagram mm-hmm. you can from you can find us at Afamas Media. Join this conversation. What are the right questions that you should be asking mm-hmm. your leaders? Mm-hmm. Join this conversation. Mm-hmm. What do you think should be the right question to ask this leader if they are coming to today with these agendas yes. what is your agenda to yeah. ac- what is your expectation mm-hmm. and how are they going to deliver mm-hmm. don't just ask how mm-hmm. don't just ask uh, uh, for the what they have for you mm-hmm. but ask how are you going to deliver yeah you're going to deliver absolutely yes. uh, do you think like uh, they are really they do they really mean that okay everyone has that mm-hmm. oh Everyone mm-hmm. has touched on agriculture. Mm-hmm. Every billboard. Yeah. A very big billboard. Mm-hmm. I'll do this for agriculture. I'll do that. I'll mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. But do you really believe them? Well, I, I would say um, trust is a very relative uh, thing that I would say different leaders have performed. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say no to that. Mm-hmm. And uh, some even didn't have um, those billboards. Mm-hmm. They did perform. Yes. So billboards are there to advertise. And you know? they're very costly, by the way. And it's one thing to advertise uh-huh. and advertise your, your 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 big picture, your name, and everything, your party. Yeah. But it's another thing to deliver, Diana. I think that's where the problem comes, delivering. Yeah, delivering. And do you think it's just an opportunity that uh, they have seen, eh? mm-hmm. now that the farm inputs are very high, mm-hmm. the cost of fertilizer is going for almost 7,500. Yes. And it's increasing. Yeah. And they're just uh, blaming it on external factors. Yeah. So do you think it's just uh, a, an, a business opportunity? I'll just call a business opportunity. Mm-hmm. When you see that there's no water and then you start supplying water, <laughs> uh, you see there's very high farm inputs and then you come with a lot of the farm inputs. You know what happens? It's just an opportunity that these leaders are just using to make sure that they would wink the voters. You know what happens, Diana, is in any business, mm-hmm. in, every, in any solution mm-hmm. that you'll ever want to provide, you need to study the problem that you're going to solve. Yes. And you know, the bigger the problem and the bigger the solution you're offering, the more the money that comes in or the more the fortune. And you know, some of our leaders, um, I would say it is, it is, it is a very timely t- uh, conversation because uh, it's easy to, to pick sides right now. 
very easy because we know that kenyans are suffering from uh, from uh, high 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 input high high prices of inputs and it's 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 common knowledge and some of these leaders to be very honest with you yes. they even don't know why farm inputs are very expensive <laughs> that's what i'm telling you they have just they are just blaming it on external factors yes that they were in the russian ukraine war yeah. they are just blaming it on it and and you know and you know actually some some of the functions you're going to look into different different um players different leaders and what they should do and specifically who who should be doing what in such a case wakati fertilizer imepanda who should who should you be blaming or who should you be pressuring you or know? who should we be asking yes yeah, so why is this and this doing this and that absolutely yeah. in 2010 we passed the new constitution the old constitution anchored agriculture to the national government yeah. there was only one one government uh -huh. of course now uh it was um it had provinces but then they were controlled by the national government now we devolved agriculture you know yes. from national to county government uh -huh. but both the national government the national government was left with some role the county government was left with the another role and today as we tackle this conversation on us to break it down this road national government and county government that's why now we bring in if you're in the county government the people in the county government starting with the governor with the mca and also part of it um you know part of it are uh, other leaders that are connecting in between the county government and the national government who which is sana sana a uh, senator and the women rep yeah will want to know the right questions so we want to know the roles of these uh of the county government uh, and the national government when it comes to agriculture and Diana it is really interesting what we know and what we don't know let's start with the county government mm -hmm. it's, a, it's 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 a conversation that um will be closer to your heart if you are a farmer and you're watching and listening to us the role of county government which is closer to you than the national government first the national government and the county government is responsible for, for crop and animal husbandry uh -huh. the county government the county government yes that is the nearest huh? that's the nearest yeah uh -huh. so anything that has to do with animal husbandry mm -hmm. yes. you have to task the leaders who are in the county right yes yes yeah and that's why they have extension officers mm -hmm. now and, that's and another vets. problem <laughs> and vets uh -huh. did you know that you you have a vet you should you should have a vet uh -huh. next to you uko na ngombe yako uko na sungura uko na ngurue uko na sheep goat and everything kondoo na kila kitu it is the role of county government to provide a vet to the least level it's not the national government uh -huh. it's the county government okay the, uh, just a quick one mm -hmm. how many extensional officers now we are now that we are in county mm -hmm. government mm -hmm. how many extensional officers do you know mm -hmm. back in your county because these people are supposed to be moving up and down yes. up and down to make sure what are farmers going through what is this and this uh, the farmers have just harvested where is their maize going like they, there's just an outbreak of uh, locust mm -hmm. what are we going to do how many do you know that mm -hmm. they have visited your farm there personally when mm -hmm. you are there mm -hmm. or your father you called them and then your father was like ah the extensional officer was here how many do you know Donna it's really interesting that uh, different county governments have committed differently mm -hmm. when it comes to availing mm -hmm. uh, different uh, levels of uh, I would say animal husbandry yeah. uh, experts uh -huh. vets extension officers and everything around there uh -huh. um I am I am a, I'm a small scale farmer I'm a small holder farmer yeah tungurue tongu man but I came to know that we have a vet uh -huh. After paying a private vet. Niliambiwa baadaye huko tu chini chini huko. Niliambiwa baadaye mbona unalipa vet? Na tukora vet. Na tukona county government ime avail a vet. <laughs> so the county government has availed but you do not have the knowledge that it will that. suffice. I didn't know that. And yeah, the, exactly so. it's it's the same problem we're facing even here at Kitengela. Yes. Kajedo County. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure uh, Diana it's a conversation that you'll go, you're going to pick up even in the coming shows of 
people getting to understand the extension officers people next to them yes kumjo daktari wako yes we will be having a, a new show a, a segment eh? yes. that will be a, airing soon that jo daktari wako will mm -hmm. be talking to this vets to mm -hmm. this extensional officer yes. you will be able to know who is supposed to do what and mm -hmm. that yes. and it's a very very good response and we will be having those people right here in yes. a farmers media yes. and we'll be having a direct conversation yes you will be knowing that mm -hmm. what you have been missing out eh? yeah or you have been maybe you have been paying for services mm -hmm. that actually you are supposed to be getting free yes. the county government should be actually providing yeah, it should they, be providing. are you supposed to pay the extension officer i think what you should just give it's not should what you can give is a token of appreciation a token of appreciation of which now he can just come to my farm go and I, like i'm not entitled to pay right yeah because they you're not entitled to pay mm -hmm. what happens is the county government as a veil that you see agriculture is the backbone of the country yes country's economy and it, it, it takes a very huge percentage of the gdp national uh domestic uh product you know and once we look into that they, they found that we better offer some of these solutions and you know the 2010 constitution is one of the most progressive constitutions that we we, we have ever had in the world it's one of the best actually i remember when it started it was met with so much hostility yeah in the first place mm -hmm. but now that it is going down mm -hmm. i think we should have impressed it a bit earlier now as we look into that um you should not pay what happens is they they just come what you do is actually um give them a token of, of appreciation and i'm sure um even in the coming show we're going to ask you as the listener and, and 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 as the viewer different farmers as you watch and listen to us you will be able to directly uh get to talk with these people post your problem and then they're going to provide a solution because they are right there for you and again the county government should provide um a place where you you sell your animals Ah, that one I think every county government has really tried eh? mm -hmm. because if you walk to if you go to these towns mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. I was just asking around like do you have a do you have a place where you can just sell cows not that I have a cow that I want to sell uh -huh. but I was just interested yeah, yeah. and I was told mm -hmm. yes so I was like oh yeah even back in my county mm -hmm. yeah we have that place that we can just go sell our livestock yes yeah and then in kakamega mm -hmm. they actually have a very popular uh, a very popular market just mm -hmm. to sell dogs wow yes wow, that's interesting <laughs> wow for dogs it's called dogs like ah. dogs dogs mm -hmm. it's called is it called lubao yeah it's called lubao back in kakamega uh -huh. yes they just sell dogs hey adi naito sokoya umbwa wow that's interesting <laughs> wow and you know what uh, what's the other function of the county government you should provide um a place where you should slaughter your animals mm -mm. they call abidas <laughs> ama slaughter houses uh -huh. you should take control of that uh -huh. in terms of health uh -huh. you know they also attach their health officers right there mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, the meal that is uh, the meat that is slaughtered mm -hmm. in your home you know in mm -hmm. your home uh -huh, yeah. for other people's consumption and even in your consumption the county government should provide health officers who should come and stamp the meat itself so you see we're slowly understanding the role of the county government that's not the role of the national government and yes quite interesting. but mm -hmm. the, back then mm -hmm. uh, there was this guy we used to call borafia mm -hmm. like uh, actually we used to call borafia mm -hmm. I came later to realize that it is Bora Afia, ani Afia Bora. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you used to see this guy and uh, he'll come to schools, he'll yes. come to homes mm -hmm. to make sure that your toilet is clean. Mm -hmm. uh, those people actually back then they used to work really hard because they could come to schools to make sure that your toilets are very clean. Uh -huh. Yes, and then when a, uh, at, let's say an animal has died, mm -hmm. they'll come make sure that this meat is fit yes. we used to call them borafia you thought it is their name but again when i grew up uh, uh, this is bora afia now borafia it's really interesting <laughs> as we talk about it diana because um it's one of the strategies that has been used 
previously in advertising um you know different people mm. you just connect the name uh-huh. people can always <laughs> remember they can always remember you yes and, and they think that that's how you grew up knowing uh-huh. and, and now you even know their functions right now yes you even know them Uh, yes, talk and come total because yes. we used to be young and then the guy will be walk around but they just disappeared along the way. I think when you grew up uh, then I think those people coming to the office I they just being reluctant because those guys they used mm-hmm. to be old mm-hmm. but they used to move around. Mm-hmm. Even in a week I remember it was always on Thursday mm-hmm. and we would even wash our toilets, mm-hmm. our latrines mm-hmm. on Thursday mm-hmm. because we knew mm-hmm. they extensional officer was walking around yes to make sure that where you are mm-hmm. the school is very clean mm-hmm. and when we could never eat any animal that has died eh, mm-hmm. without that guy coming mm-hmm. to make sure that this meat is okay for you guys to eat mm-hmm. right now uh, i don't know i don't know what happened eh, mm-hmm. but you just see someone slaughtering a cow back mm-hmm. in their backyard mm-hmm a goat mm-hmm. the one that has just died mm-hmm. people are just crumbling for the meat mm-hmm. and no one has recommended that this meat is fit for you guys yes that's why you may find that people did uh, people did eat something mm-hmm. and all of a sudden people have a stomach ache like a whole village you know i, I do remember there was a, there was a period where villages were being affected because of the kind of meat they were eating yes And I think something had to change about that policy. We had people were more availed mm. um health officers. You know, I think um even before we can get back to where we were, where our whole village was perishing because of lack of knowledge again. Mm-hmm. Um I think it's not the role of the county government to avail. And you know with devolution nowadays, I think both cases of zimashuka kidogo. Yes, because they, the health officers yeah. karibu na. Yeah, they are there. Uh, mm-hmm. they move around yes. uh no no just that uh sometimes huh? mm-hmm. uh they do ask for the cash yes. when they are doing those services mm-hmm. so the farmers are strain cut the cost okay. when they come around mm-hmm. yeah it's just that some are corrupt not all of them mm-hmm. some are very corrupt mm-hmm. they will tell you now when i'm going to look at this uh, uh some are very arrogant like come on get a doctor mwingine ungemlipa pesa ngapi now that you want me to do for free actually we, as we talk about that um <laughs> You know these 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 vets and extension officers that have been availed by the county government from the interactions that I've had with them what they ask for of, of which we're going to confirm that is um the facilitation fee of them uh getting there mhm kama ni transport you going to take care of that mhm na kama for example kulikuwa na vitu zenye zimetumiwa ndani yes hapo ndani kwa farm yenyewe Mm. utagaramia kwa kitu kidogo sana yes yeah but there are those ones you should not pay them for the service mm-hmm. but now what if this uh, the facilitation fee they're asking is just too much eh? compared to even the one that if, if you had called for a private one it could be a right. bit easier that's a very so, corrupt person right there <laughs> Dan, <are you laughs> where does we even report this right guy actually is the officer at the county mm-hmm. this i don't know is he a criminal we can can we report him to the Police? one of the most effective ways no they're not a criminal actually mm-hmm. it's criminal to do that it, it's then, a criminal uh, activity actually w- the be- one of the best ways to do that is pass information through different uh feedback uh platforms available by the county government i'm sure very many county governments have a platform for example facebook mm-hmm. twitter somewhere you can complain through that that's one thing And again I think you can um we're going to confirm about that though uh you can raise an issue with your with your um local leader the like that is a chief maybe yeah kama chief mumbie mm-hmm. baadaye ujamaa wetu huyu mm-hmm. ni kama kidogo siku hizi amekuwa na ile kitu mm-hmm. ile tabia ya kulizia ulizia pesa sana <laughs> then you should, you should not pay them for their service you should pay for more of that facilitation ya yeye kukuja mm-hmm. in some of the medication that has been availed to you mm-hmm. by him okay so if he's just coming i've bought my medication mm-hmm. uh he's just coming to me to mm-hmm. minister to the say animal mm-hmm. am i supposed to still pay for it actually if he has come with his own products uh-huh. you can pay a little bit of it 
because the county government does not buy those products. Yeah, okay, yeah. They buy from vets, mm -hmm. from uh, agri, uh, agri, agri, agri vets. And um, of course, they're not subsidized by the county government. Nakuna, a way of paying for them. Yeah. According to the county governments that we have <laughs> in Kenya. Now, that's, that's, that's the much you can do. Like, in Ile Pesa, Kumbombia, Akukotia, you know, they should give you a quote by the mm -hmm. I should give you a quote. Come on, transport. Mm -hmm. Na come on, zile zile dawa zenye metumia. Hizo ni zako hizo. Lakini zile service apasi kukulipisha. Kwa sababu na libo mshara na county government. Okay. They are paid to do that. Now you know that you should not be served. You should not be paying these people for the services. Eh? Yes. But you can just pay facilitation. Yes. Yes, because uh -huh. these people, mm -hmm. uh, they have other responsibility, or mm -hmm. they are reaching a lot of people, and uh, actually the county government yes. cannot be really be facilitating each and everyone. So I yes. think it's just fair enough. Yes. Fair enough that mm -hmm. you cater for the facilitation, mm -hmm. but not the services they're offering. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, the last, um, the last role that we are going to look into, the county government, is plant and animal disease control and fisheries. And so, unapata kwamba uh, county government imenunulia water fish. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there, there was a very funny thing that was told that there is a governor from one of those western regions mm -hmm. and lakeside regions. I don't know a fish. I don't know if this story is true. I don't know a fish like Mwaga Lake Victoria. Uliza fish zilienda wapia kasema zilienda Uganda. And that guy was unable to account for it. I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna confirm that. But it's the role of county government to buy um to take care of Vitukama fisheries. Mm -hmm. Mali fish eco. Animal diseases. Plant and animal diseases. Mm -hmm. Uh, this comes into, um, for example, uh, vitu, vitu vidogo vidogo. Venye, for example, market imekumbwa na kitu kama eh, eh, menda zimeguwa mingi. Kwa market? Yeah. Na kama kuna uchafu pia kwa market? Eh, yu, yu ni kazi yao. Uh -huh. You're paying sales for that. Did you know that? Ukenda kuuza ngombe. Uh -huh. Si wana kuitisha kitu kadogo. Yes, ya kusimama. Yo, exactly. Mm. Yo pesa should go back to maintaining the place. To maintaining the place. Uh -huh. So again, that's now we're going to look into the role of the county governor who mandates the CEC for agriculture mm -hmm. to undertake that. Yeah. Now we're going to look into that. And actually before we can, um, we can, we can actually proceed, today I want us to talk about Omnia products. Omnia very interesting. Product. Yes, the very interesting part of Omnia mm -hmm. is that uh, Omnia has very has a variety of products. Yes, and having that in mind, mm -hmm. eh, uh, there are those ones that uh, will make sure that your soil is good, mm -hmm. and then your plant also is good, mm -hmm. and they like uh, they just be like that motivator. Yes, for the plant to grow, mm -hmm. and there's also that one that relieves plant of stress mm -hmm. so the choice is yours as a farmer absolutely yes and, and today we want to tell our, our viewers right into the eye that omni omnia yes omnia omnia neutrology mm -hmm. they do provide soluble fertilizer solutions mm -hmm. soluble fertilizer solutions nizile zenye zina ingia kwa uki yungu ukiweka kwa maji e, zina changa nyikana na zina maji alafu na kwa maji yeah it's soluble Yes. It's soluble. It's a, it's a, the, you come up with a solution. Mm. Now, um, some of the products that we have seen, is for example, the reservator. Yes. That um, we have seen being applied to strengthen the plant to grow even better mm -hmm. at uh, early stages. We've also seen the K-Humid. Yes. Where um, it, it does help the root to, to, to sprout in a very good way so that um, I gave this uh, gave this example to Dora yesterday. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm sure you're gonna eat more. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, Absolutely. of course, yeah. Mm. So that one just makes sure that eh, mm -hmm. the uptake is high. Yes, yes. The uptake is high, and um, it has also micronutrients. Mm -hmm. Micronutrients. It's called Omnisure. Omnisure. You know, omnisure. Yes. Uh -huh. Where those micronutrients come, iron. Mm -hmm. You know, come in, even. Um, Look into even even follicles, mm -hmm. follicle where you, they strengthen calcium. Did you know that one of the biggest problem that we have when it rains in our area, Kwetu, mm -hmm. Kwetu Nyumbani, yes. Nyeru, uh -huh. 
ni kwa sababu ni, ni, ni kwamba baridi ikipiga hizo crops uh -huh. zinalala but then with enough calcium mm -hmm. they can stand against the, 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 the biggest problem of that time which is cold so the calcium does help uh -huh. the plant to fight against cold ni kama mwili wako ukiwa unahitaji calcium uh -huh. it needs the, a strong a strong backbone it, it needs I become strong weak bonds. of course huh? absolutely yeah now it's the same same thought that comes into plants and exactly that's what omni is providing to you yesterday we did mention the mega kelp mega kelp is magic by the way magic magic that is magic, magic when you using mega kelp mm -hmm. when uh, in your plants yes. that one is a stress reliever yes. actually plants have stress mm -hmm. so just like any other plant mm -hmm. uh, just like human just like animal plant yes. get stress yes for instance let's talk about that plant that is in a waterlogged area yes that plants need mega kelp. Yes. That plant that has, that has not received rain for such a long time. Yes. That plant may need mega kelp. Absolutely. Any plant that is not in any suitable condition to grow, mm -hmm. that plant needs a stress reliever and stress reliever mm -hmm. is mega kelp and yes. mega kelp mm -hmm. from Omnia. Absolutely. We cannot emphasize this message more than you have done it. Thank you very very much Diana for putting out the message out there about Omnia and its products. There are very many products very many just uh, make sure that you visit omnia in their uh, uh, omnia in their website eh? yes you will get to learn so much and yes. you'll get to know that they have so much products eh? <laughs> that you as a farmer will stand to benefit <laughs> anytime you use them absolutely thank you very very much uh diana for putting out the the information out there and we are done with the first part where we are to talk about the county government the roles of the county government Yes, so we are going for a short break and then when we come back, huh, yes. we'll have so much to talk mm -hmm. to because mm -hmm. we still haven't, uh, we still haven't uh, yes. told you mm -hmm. what exactly are you supposed to, uh, we have just uh, touched the first part, mm -hmm. what are you supposed to ask who mm -hmm. so that you can get help, especially this electioneering period. Yes, so thank you very much. We have done our part on the county government yes after this short commercial break we're going to talk about the role of the national government yes and then we're going to break down everybody's role now yes so that you know who am i going to ask anytime yes. the fertilizer has gone up yes am i going to shout in the social media handles yes, yes. am i going to trust this uh, you should know by the end of this uh, program that uh, I'm supposed to ask this mm -hmm. person this question. Yes. And not just anybody will just blame the president. You say we take a short commercial break? Yes, you say right. we take a short commercial break. Thank you. Thank you very much. Papai ni moja ya tunda mashuhuri kwa kiasi kikubwa nchini Kenya. Pia tunda hili linaweza kuwa na faida mbali na afya katika kukuza uchumi wa mkulima wa zao hili. Pia linaweza kuwa chanzo kikubwa cha pesa za kigeni kwa kuuza nje ya nchi. Uzalishaji wa papai nchini Kenya ni kwa kiasi kidogo ukilinganishwa na mahitaji wa tumiaji. Hivyo inahitajika nguvu zaidi katika uzalishaji wa zao hili. Zao hili limeshamiri kote nchini kwa kutoa mavuno bora. Ungana nami niweze kufahamisha bayana na kwa undani kuhusu zao hili la paipai.
celery is a marshland plant that comes from the same family as carrots and parsley. It has long, firm and pale green fibrous stalks and grows in bunches of approximately 8 to 10 centimeters. The stalks taper into leaves at the top. When planting celery, it's best to ensure that the soil is enriched with compost and with a soil pH of between 5.8 to 6.8. It is also important for celery to grow in moisture retentive soil. Lastly but not the least, select a site that receives full and direct sunlight. Celery needs about 130 to 140 days to mature between seedling and harvest. Growing celery is generally considered to be an ultimate vegetable gardening challenge. It's easy to grow but has very specific needs. Mahindi yamekuwa chakula kikuu katika sehemu nyingi za ulimwengu na jumla ya uzalishaji wa mahindi kuliko ile ya ngano au mchele. Mbali na kuwa mahindi ni chakula, pia hutumiwa kutengeneza ethanol, chakula cha wanyama na bidhaa zingine. Kunayo mahindi ya gume gume, mahindi ya ganda, yani popcorn, mahindi ya unga na mahindi matamu. Mahindi yanalimwa sana kote ulimwenguni na kiwango kikubwa cha mahindi hutolewa kila mwaka kuliko nafaka nyingine yoyote. Shamba la mahindi linaweza kutayarishwa kwa kutumia njia za kawaida au za kilimo cha uhifadhi. Kilimo cha kuhifadhi ni pamoja na kunyunyizia dawa za kuulia wadudu zilizopendekezwa na wataalamu wa kilimo. Unaweza kutumia trekta au njia ya mikono kufanya kilimo cha mahindi. Ni muhimu kuandaa ardhi mapema ya kutosha kuruhusu magogo kukauka na kuoza kabla ya kupanda. Amaranthus or locally known as terere is a highly nutritious vegetable that is cultivated and consumed as a leafy vegetable in many parts of the world. It's easy to grow, matures fast, as it takes an incredible shorter period than most traditional crops. There are many species of amaranthus, with some green and others red in color. When growing amaranthus, ensure the soil is well drained and rich in phosphorus and most importantly ensure the seeds are well distributed to achieve an even spread when establishing a grain amaranthus field. Amaranthus is especially loved for its tender leaves and for their healthy dose of ions, vitamins and a range of minerals. Welcome back to the conversation. You're very much welcome back to the drive show here at A Farmers Media. Diana, before we went for the short commercial break, you were telling us that we can be part of this conversation. Yes, you can be part of this conversation mm -hmm. by just joining our conversation there. We are live right now in our Farmers Media, mm -hmm. that is in Facebook, and mm -hmm. also in other Instagram, uh, in other social media handles, that is Instagram, and mm -hmm. also in. Uh, Twitter. Mm -hmm. So in Instagram, you can get us at our farmers media, our farmers, mm -hmm. zay, like z, z, mm -hmm. th that's buzzing, our farmers, mm -hmm. not our farmers, our right. farmers. Yes. So that is in Instagram, our yes. farmers media, and yes. also in Twitter, mm -hmm. you can also get us at our farmers media underscore. Yes. So make sure you just search our farmers media mm -hmm. and then follow us, and then you'll be getting the videos. And mm -hmm. also, you can join this conversation by just making sure that you comment yes. down there on our video, and we'll be getting you our live. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll will getting back you will getting your feedback yes and we'll be able to interact one-on-one -on -one with you yes 
Yes. Then I'm talking about um, feedback and everything around there. Mm -hmm. We were talking about the role of the county government. Yes. Now, let's talk about now the role of the national government, because we have to we have to we have to um, understand what to ask from different politicians this period. And before we can know what to ask from them, is even know what they do first. Very, very important. We yes. should know that what are they supposed to do so yes. that when we ask something, yeah. we do not overstep mm -hmm. our boundaries. Yes. So, like right now, I know mm -hmm. when am I when my when my pet is sick mm -hmm. or my cow is sick, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to look for the county government. I'm not mm -hmm. supposed to be shouting down there. Yes. That uh, sometimes you find that uh, a group of cow or maybe uh, there's a disease that has just uh, an outbreak. Mm -hmm. And then you find that maybe cows in a certain village uh, have just died. Mm -hmm. Oh, unasikia serikali, serikali. Mm. Like, eh? mm. So I think it's just lack of information that they don't know mm -hmm. that they should be. The first people to be contacted is the county government. Yes. The one that are nearest to them. Yes. So that they can get help. But now they're just like yes. serikali. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, serikali, serikali. Yes, Diana, because this was the main function of, and this was the main backbone of us devolving functions. So they can come closer to you. So that you can come closer to you. So that you can come closer to you. So that you can come closer to you. Let's now talk about the role of the national government. Mm -hmm. Now the national government specifically delegates its duties. Its duties and the roles of the national government through the agricultural ministry. And more of the, what we have nowadays is the ministry of agriculture, livestock and fisheries. Livestock and fisheries. Yes. And now agriculture itself. Did they 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 just uh, did they just leave it or fisheries are a bit different right now? No, actually, no, no, no. Actually, nowadays it's it's one ministry. You are under one ministry. Yeah, under one ministry. Uh -huh. What what is separate nowadays? It's the Ministry of Water. Ah. Uh -huh. So imagine you little up. Imagine you little up. Ah, I wish yeah. they could. How did they separate fish from water? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Diana, wow, that, wow, never, yeah. I've never thought about that, but wow, they were able to... They separated God. fish from water, <laughs> eh? Oh, wow, that's quite interesting, Diana. Mm -hmm. So, once once you look at the functions of the, of the, of the Ministry of Agriculture, at the national government, of course, mm -hmm. is more policies. Policies in terms of distribution of money, policies in terms of um, budgeting, mm -hmm policies in terms of uh, development and the implementation of, and coordination of programs and part of it, it has seven clear functions before we go to clear functions okay. sir, mm -hmm. who are these people mm -hmm. who we are supposed to be tasking mm -hmm. when you talk about national now that we are talking about national mm -hmm. government no. yes who are these people mm -hmm. that we should be questioning mm -hmm. when there's something mm -hmm. the, the roles now that you're going to look at yes who are these people mm -hmm. that we should be tasking them with the most basic person mm -hmm. is the president. Mm. Policies president. Mm -hmm. You know? Budgetary, budgetary president mm -hmm. is the person you should be asking. If there's a policy that has come, uh, that, has, that has been there, passed by the national government, you know? Yes. Or, um, um, more of actually, um, of course, uh, that has been proposed by the national government through the Ministry of Agriculture. Yes. We have seen tea bills, we have seen coffee bills, mm -hmm. we have seen um, food, and of course, um, everything that has come. There are very many bills ever since the Jubilee government came into power. Yes. Very many bills are passed. That is around nine years ago, ten? Yeah, nine actually. Years. Yeah. Nine years ago. Actually, it's close to ten years. We because, have close. Wow, we're in that uh, electioneering year. And um, the main person who should be carrying this responsibility is the president, not the CS, it's the president. Mm -hmm. Now the president looks for a team that will help him perform his duties uh -huh. on agriculture. Yes. That's where the CS comes in. Ah, yes, and I, now I get it. Now okay. understand yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Research, for example, mm -hmm. research should be funded by the national government. Mm -hmm. Yes. Research, ukienda pale, ukienda for example, pare, uh, you need to do, uh, ka, car, car law. 
Carlo. I don't know how, how people <laughs> do pronounce that name. Is it? Yeah, Carlo. No, I think it's just ca- ca- back in my county. It's just okay, called call it Carlo. Carlo. They call it Carlo. Kenya Agricultural Research yes. Institute. And Livestock Institute, something. Oh, oh now it is Livestock Institute. It is something. I have never even looked since yeah, I, I, I don't know. There's I think I was somewhere. still, uh, still at the old people board. I mean, there's the old oh, and I'm also cooperative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it's, not a software. it's a role of national government to fund uh-huh. research mm-hmm. in those, in those um, government per status, research companies, uh, research uh, per status, of course. And the backbone of every policy, the backbone of every research, the backbone of everything that happens in terms of policies and implementation of programs should be by the national government. Budgeting, you know, yes. subsidies. Mm-hmm. That's the role of um, the national government to fund. So when you're talking about subsidies, mm-hmm. subsidies mm-hmm. that's the no word actually, I don't know how it has come out clearly today. Mm-hmm. Subsidies, yeah, that's <laughs> well. <laughs> but you're with me, Dad. Yeah. You're with me. You, you're going to get it right. <laughs> so when okay. you're talking about uh, uh-huh. subsidies, uh, uh-huh. do we, like, uh, we have been right all along, uh, all along mm-hmm. by saying hashtag lower their food prices, yes. blaming the government? Yes. We have been right all We've along. We've been right about that. Okay. We've been very much right. Uh-huh. The national government is the backbone of every policy. You know, food prices went up yeah. because of quite a few issues. Mm-hmm. Um, first, from the cost of in farm inputs, mm-hmm. and it's the, the national government that looks into the cost. Uh-huh. Okay. What happens is um, more of these costs. Okay. It's it's quite it's a, it's quite a complex idea. I don't know if I should break it down today. If you break it down, we we'll just lose it. So we let's, might lose it. Yes, but then that's a topic for another na- day. The pricing mm-hmm. of a of a farm input mm-hmm. is done by the company that produces or manufactures that. The price of the farm input is determined by. Is not determined. Okay, is is done uh-huh. by that, but then. Uh-huh. The national government uh-huh. has set aside policies or guidelines uh-huh. that are going to set price floors and price ceilings. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> now it's also the role of the county of the national government uh-huh. to provide subsidies on the same. Or Punguza Pesa through maybe a supplementary budget. Mm-hmm. Or even the national, you know, the 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 the, the budget that is always uh, read every every June. Yes. It's the, the role of the national budget. government mm-hmm. to provide subsidies. That's why now we were saying that it it is the role of the national government to help us reduce the farm the the, the, the cost of food. You know, the cost of food is just a ripple effect. To kiangalia malishida zote zimeanza ni cost of fertilizer. Yeah. You know cost of fertilizer and farm inputs, other farm inputs, of course, sasa kuna broker. Amekuja hapo katika TPA. The national government, through the comp- competition authority, I think so, and also part of the national, part of the national functions of the agricultural ministry, set policies that are going to guide how packaging of some of this produce comes in. Kama ni viazi, zisi shukisho, zisi ongezo kale kakichwa exactly yes and now it's the role of the national government uh-huh. to ensure that the packaging standards are set right hmm. that's the role of the national government any other policy comes in hmm. it's the national government that is there I think that role was given to. I wish it could have been given to the uh, to the county because uh, mm-hmm. these are the people who are near mm-hmm. who can easily implement. Because back even in my village, uh, you see there is a certain uh, this uh, two kg uh, two kg tin mm-hmm. that they used to 
to may to, to weigh the maize mm -hmm. but you find that these traders uh, or these people who are retailers who are going um, maybe house mm -hmm. by house mm -hmm. to collect yes sometimes uh, we used to hear that they just are uh, like uh, mm -hmm. when i wake up on majimoto so so inakuwa kubwa yes. alafu wanaipa sua pasua ah. so wakati wanapima maindi yako mm -hmm. Hii si unaona kitu imepasuka ukiweka mahindi na yes. ina expand. So unapata this person mm -hmm. is going to get for that 2 kg mm -hmm. is going to get 3 kg because tayari amepasua pasua gorogoro yake mm -hmm. alafu ameichemsha. Mm -hmm. It's bigger. Eh? Mm -hmm. So hiyo ndiye anatembea nayo akisanya. Now this is a village so mm -hmm. that function yes it works well pale kwa national but I, I wish it mm -hmm. could been developed down mm -hmm. here. In terms of the implementation, implementation of these policies, yes. Oh, the question, you know, it's one of the biggest problems that you're facing is that part of the brokers are also part of the government. Mm -hmm. You know, they're also benefiting through some of these things. Oh, now you know? that becomes a problem. They also become, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you know, at a time where these high costs of fertilizer, do you know who we should be blaming? High cost of fertilizer? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's start this conversation this way. Globally, the high cost of fertilizer is hitting everybody. All yeah. because of some 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 itches in there mm -hmm. from the main manufacturers mm -hmm. and providers of the raw material that is used to um, manufacture the fertilizer, yeah, mm -hmm. fertilizer mm -hmm. and everything, and also the agents and reagents. And it is now the role of the national government. Nikama mafuta too. They know foil prices. For example, Kamasai Russia. It's fighting. Yeah. And Russia is one of the biggest exporters of um of of of, of fuel fuel. But where the national government comes in is that even while global prices continue to hit, the national government as a role in the final product that una unachukua, maybe una kogariako, ama kofatalizen una chukua, una mogo ko farm. Because what happens is the national government imposes taxation. Yes. Landing costs. Uh-huh. Uh, Imports. Mafuta. Mm -hmm. uh, fuel, CG, wapi, all those things. Mm -hmm. And once the the shipping cost and everything around there, actually, it's more of the landing cost. Kiare, inakuja hapa, na vitu kadha, hapa, na pale. <laughs> and you know, now, Kiare, Kiare is part of the government. Mm -hmm. And so you see policies, policies come in, in terms of the money, the, the percentage of profit, uh, of taxation that comes in into these products, then is meleto, kutoka ukoju, that's one thing. Another thing is the national government has the power to provide subsidies. So that's why people are complaining that the national government is doing nothing about it. And the national government right now is focusing on repaying the, uh, the, the, the debt, you know, it's it's focusing highly on on repaying the debts both international and even commercial locally. And now the biggest problem is Haina Pesa ku subsidize. Like waki subsidize waki hey, subs subsidize, eh? Yes. Like uh, they could be a crisis. Yeah. They're just trying to balance, eh? That's yeah. what you mean. So there's money the, well, very many sects of the government, mm -hmm. both from the government, even out of the government, mm -hmm. have said that the national government has no money. So what I could subsidize say is very hard. It's very, very hard. But even if they are not subsi subsidizing, mm -hmm. okay, if they are not reducing, mm -hmm. if uh, even if they are not reducing, mm -hmm. why don't they just do something about balancing at a certain level? Because eh, mm -hmm. as per yesterday, mm -hmm. yesterday like uh, it is it was almost clear that the fifty kg bag of fertilizer mm -hmm. was going for around five uh, for seven thousand now. Like that was the standard price. Yes. Seven thousand. Mm -hmm. So how long? And remember, this is not even the month for planting. Yes. This is not. Yes. And just like any other thing, that uh, when there is a high demand, mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, and there is low supply, mm -hmm. the prices tend to rise. Yeah. So, I think in the future, or not even the future, in the next maybe like twenty days, mm -hmm. eh, we'll be talking about the price being eight thousand five hundred. You know, Dana. You know what farmers are saying out there? Mm -hmm. We visited some of the farmers and they're telling us this, that in the coming planting season, mm -hmm. which comes uh, after the 
long rains that are coming uh-huh. in, the, in, in the next few days. Uh-huh. But they say in the, in the coming uh, planting season, they are actually consi- considering not to use fertilizers. And if they're not going to use fertilizer, what do you think of the input, the output, I mean? The output is very little. Very, very, little. very low yields. And actually in the morning we were asking, mm-hmm. uh, do you think by next year mm-hmm. we'll have enough food? Like, will it's, we produce it's, it's enough food? It's quite interesting. Because uh, if um, s- uh, some farmers are actually mm-hmm. not going to do anything, F- judging from the comments, mm-hmm. farmers were like, we are not going to plant. Mm-hmm. Some were like, we are going to plant, but without using fertilizer, because it's expensive. So look at the situation right now. If the government is not going to do anything, who is supposed to task them to make sure, like, uh, they are doing this. We are supposed to touch them now that they are ahead. You know, Diana, well, that's a very sensible question mm-hmm. that we need to sit down and ask ourselves. We are supposed to task the government. You guys are not doing this. It is, uh, can we say the opposition? You know, it should, actually, it's not even the role of opposition to do that. Uh-huh. Why, who it's is the that? role of, 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 of the National Assembly uh-huh. and the Senate to do that. Where are they right actually, now? Actually, more of it is the National Assembly. Uh-huh. MPs. MPs. Where are they right now? Wako kwa campaign, campaign when you are rudi. Sai. Yes, when you are attack rudi kwa bunge, actually wa bunge wa wa. They don't have a maximum. I think that's where we should getting reg- regulated. Mm-hmm. Si unaweza simama hadi siku utakufa mbunge. Yeah, mbunge unaenda ukienda. And like governor 10 years you mm-hmm. gone. Yeah. But mbunge now unaenda ukienda. Are we like these are people that we are tasking them mm-hmm. that they should be uh, that the, our rights eh, should be should be spearheading. Like really, are we even getting there you know, anytime it's, soon? It's the role of MPs. Uh, we're gonna look into that soon. It's the role of MPs uh-huh. to check uh-huh. the national government. It's a ro- it's the role of Senate uh-huh. to check county governments. The w- interesting thing, mm-hmm. Bunge, Bunge in Afungwa, right? Bunge, Bunge, Bunge yes. yeah, it should be. It should be closing anytime soon. Anytime soon. Okay. Now, mm-hmm. the uh, the it is closed. Mm-hmm. Bunge mefungwa, mm-hmm. and the pricing is still going up. Yes. Do we wait for the other one mm-hmm. who will come in so that they will be start tasking the government about the same? You know, that's when all the the opposition comes in. That's where activists come come in, and that's where a farmers media comes in. We advocate, we push for the interest of the farmer because if President Uhuru hears what we did collect, mm-hmm. farmers saying that they're not going to use fertilizer in the coming season. Of which that means it does, like, it's automatically that the output is going to be very, very low. Basically for their families, maybe. Absolutely. Today, today we're very guilty of And quality. Up, uh-huh. mm-hmm. Have you talked about quality? Even the quality. Can, yeah. Once we're talking even about the quality, is the micronutrients and the nutrients that come out of the product. Mm-hmm. So, in the well, food security, it's not just about the qua- the quantity; it's even about the quality. Quality is the most important. Yes. We want to supply the uh, the onions, or we want to supply what is it called? Is of Yazi Pale KFC, but how to to me fertilizer? Mm-hmm. Are we competing fairly? It's really interesting. Very interesting. Really interesting. Well. Diana, let's look into some of the functions. I think w- we have really gotten deep into this conversation. Mm-hmm. And the role of the National o- of the Ministry uh, of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, mm-hmm. first is formulation, implementation, and monitoring of agricultural uh, legislation, regulations, and policies. You have said about that. Yeah. Policies. You have seen, yeah, policies, yeah. basically. We have seen um, Munya, the previous CSS, that have been there in agriculture mm-hmm. push for different uh for example tea uh reforms yeah he has really worked well yes he's trying he's trying yeah according to well according to you diana he has trying he has tried different people will feel differently mm-hmm. um that's why for example the there was a ceiling uh, a, a, a price flow i'm a person yes tea. Uh-huh. You know, I think it is even the more 
role of the agricultural ministry to push on to other products. We have seen also, um, of course, uh, through uh, the agricultural ministry, we have seen uh, funds being distributed through the agricultural ministry, where, for example, this, the previous month, we saw um, different coffee cooperatives mm -hmm. uh, get the coffee share refund, where they, you, you get money to help you plant and plant and plant. Mm -hmm. But then um, at very affordable loans, uh, loan, loan rates, to farmers that to is. farmers, mm -hmm. and it's a function of the of the of the of the agricultural ministry mm -hmm. to intervene through policies mm -hmm. and direct funding to farmers. Apart from that, it's also the role of the agricultural ministry to support agricultural research and promoting technology delivery. So apart from that, of course, um, promoting technology delivery, they should also help in um, giving out uh, policies, for example, that come with, for example, um, that look into subsidizing maybe the cost of farm uh, 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 farm uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. You know, they should they should also facilitate, um, of course, as I said, uh, represent facilitating the rep representing of agricultural state corpora corporations in the government. Of course, development and implementation and coordination of programs in the agricultural sector, regulating and quality control of inputs, produce and products from the agricultural sector. Now, this one is a very key one because uh, quality control of inputs. You remember when KFC, um, well, had issues with the Kenyan farmers? Yes. Do you know who intervened? The government. The national government? Yes. But then did you see, um, did you see the uh, county governor of Nyandarwa, Francis Kimemia, mm -hmm. also there. He mm -hmm. was there because agriculture, uh, potatoes are huge in Nyandarwa. Mm -hmm. But then the role of the role of Governor Kimemia in the conversation and the, in the negotiations was trying to understand how the county governor, uh, county governments mm -hmm. can come in. Yes, you know. And I remember, I think mm -hmm. these people should mm -hmm. uh, work hand in hand, uh, yes, just to make sure that to facilitate. Because mm -hmm. I think if they exist independently, mm -hmm. yes, that's when the farmer just get uh, mixed up uh, mm -hmm. and ends up blaming others for mm -hmm. the things that they should be blaming others. Yes. So I think that when the roles are clear, mm -hmm. then it can be read out clearly that this mm -hmm. is supposed to be tasked with this one. But again. Working hand in hand mm -hmm. or coexisting yes. will be very, very much okay. Absolutely. So yes. in that conversation, from where where uh, I was thinking and listening towards uh, to to, mm -hmm. is that CS Munya went to the policy framework. Yes. Where they're going to help seed multiplication of potatoes. They're going to put down structures in which the, the national government is also going to help in terms of research of the quality of potatoes. Mm -hmm. So these were now the national, the the, the, the the functions of the agricultural ministry. research. Yes. He was representing research also. And the and the policy around seed multiplication, but then the implementation and for example the disease, the inputs, the real implementation is by the county government. Zile, zile diseases, mm -hmm. crop diseases, Pest control. Uh -huh. and of course, uh, of course, the national government, of course, ilikuwa ingilia pia mali kuingina mali, tunaongea kuhusu farm inputs and everything around, everything around it. County government, government ilikuwa makuja kwa conversation in terms of extension offices, uh -huh. the quality of yeah, 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 in terms the, the quality extension of extension officer exactly. to teach the farmers, uh, yeah, to teach the farmers on about the quality. Thing. Actually, yes. there it's about quality, it's not about quantity. It's about the quality. Quality. Yes, and of course, um, we also look into the development and the implementation and coordination of programs in the agricultural sector. As we pata kuna munya meche, quite a few of recent, quite uh -huh. a few um. Quite a few, uh, I will say, workshops. Mm -hmm. Quite a few reports. Uh, for example, unakumbuka kuli kwa nzige. And that's yeah. what Munya lingi. <laughs> you know? Actually, who was there before Munya came in? It was um, one, one, uh, 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 u
<laughs> and then the guy was giving very funny funny eh like yeah. Uh, yeah. there's a time he say like uh, i don't know if it, it was people just mistook him when he said people mm-hmm. should just eat the locust mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look at it, yeah, it is it, it food. Is, it is quite interesting. Yes, yeah, so I think uh, sometimes when we touch these leaders eh, mm-hmm. or we put them in the higher offices, mm-hmm. like uh, what is their sense when they're there? Yeah. Are they able to manipulate mm-hmm. decisions? Yes. These decisions are not the right one. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you need to manipulate a decision yes. so that you get the right thing. Yes. If I just come here and tell you this way it is good. Mm-hmm. I need someone else who will say no. Mm-hmm. I think it is white, yes, mm-hmm. but I think this is a good eh? yes. white than this one. Yes, we can yeah. improve so it. So we need such leaders yes. who can question mm-hmm. without fear. Yes. But now going independently now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that's why that's why the national government has been part of um, creating, for example, um, a framework mm-hmm. of how pests and diseases are going to be controlled from this year. To the year 2027 from 2022 to 2027 mm-hmm. five-year plan strategic plan so is of it was what is a plan is of it is what is sana sanasana policies or what yeah is gonna fall under the ministry of agriculture second last as we go on is management of course of, of and control of pests and disease of course we've talked about that actually right now yeah the last one is collecting and maintaining uh, and managing information on agricultural sector now you see that is the national uh, it's a national count uh, role yes it is uh-huh. a national role mm-hmm. because the information is you see what happens is uh, the national government remained with some of these roles mm-hmm. because they were affecting the country as a whole like it's affecting countrywide not yes. just countywide no no not just the countywide uh-huh it's countrywide it's fair enough yeah so now um for example in collecting and maintaining and managing information on agricultural sector is um for example tunataka kujua mm-hmm. Kenya mzima iko na nguruwe ngapi yes sio uh-huh. tukao hapo tutaweza kujua eh, what do we need feeds mm-hmm. nguruwe zinakuja na feeds so in terms of feeds but see how we going to maybe subsidize on the same how we going to you know source for maize differently you know it's the role of the national government it's called public and private partnership why that atakama mila wewe kama mila mwenye unatengeneza uh hiyo products zangu i, 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 exactly uh-huh. Uh-huh. so also the role of the national government to ensure that hujanigonga mhm you see hujagonga yule jamaa wa mwisho mm-hmm. you understand that yes so the national government comes in there kwa kutetea kidogo usifinyo uh-huh. na pale pale chini na yule private nini yule private uh, company uh-huh. And it's also their role to also provide create an enabling environment for these companies to source for maize out there or any other raw material so that's the role of the national government so do you think the cabinet secretaries mm-hmm. have a say mm-hmm. when it comes to any of those roles of course you know how i, I want to think that the national government and how, and how it works mm-hmm. is that they they are vessel Mm-hmm. CSS are, are vessels. Vessel, just vessels. Eh? Even though mm-hmm. they should spearhead mm-hmm. some of these solutions. Imagine leo huru akona oh sijui nzige zimekuja. Mhm. Baadaye baadaye anaambiwa by the pia eh, ni kama pia nini uh, ants zimekuwa nyingi. Yes. Ama Love. pia kuna uh, same flani pest zimekuwa tu too zimekuwa, much. Zimekuwa zimekuwa too much. Huh. I think what happens is um the cabinet secretary should be ahead in solving most of the problems that are down there. Though the man that should be tasking with these problems mm-hmm. is the president still because the CS answers to the president. Ah. Mm-hmm. You see? Yes. So the man who should be asking these questions is the president is the president but is there a platform that we really can task the president with these things is there a platform well oh, nowadays okay, i think now, there's right the PDU, now, presidential delivery unit uh-huh. where they have a twitter handle of course questions happen apale uh-huh. we have forums uh-huh. agricultural forums where for example even new who is watching and listening to us uh-huh. can can task the national government through such a channel like uh, a farmers media Africa Farmers Forum mm-hmm. 
where you can post your problems and i'm sure we can only channel them yes to the right experts to the right experts yeah and to the right person mm -hmm. we should be asking and of course those are the those are the functions of the national government now who is the national government we say it's the president yes Yes, uh, aided by the CSS. Yes, aided by the CSS. Mm -hmm. Now, the CS, we should not even be questioning much of the CS. Mm, yeah. We should be questioning more of the president. Uh -huh. Because he's the man who is responsible for creating the, the government. Okay, between the link of CS mm -hmm. and the president. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the president, mm -hmm. uh, the CS. Yes. Now, who are these people mm -hmm. who are again in that circle of the president that we should be testing because i'm sure there is that one that we, we cannot just jump from county government to the president where do governors uh, okay governor is in the county mm -hmm. but where the senators women rep now what happens is mm -hmm. in a case where we have a we have for example the national government is failing us mm -hmm. in terms of uh for example not subsidizing some of these products in time uh -huh. ama iobe ina kuji ina kofet directly standards. as a farmer uh -huh. we should be blaming our MP for not pushing the national government to do its job MPs They MPs uh -huh. and women reps are you suggesting that uh, MPs and uh, human reps have the same functions MPs and women reps uh -huh. let's, let, let's break this down uh -huh. actually it's a conversation we're going we're going to take after this short, this short commercial break is that now let's go down to every leader mm. and where we should be blaming them. Now that you have understood the role of the national and the county government yes. after the devolution came in, mm -hmm. we're now going to look into different leaders and who should spearhead what. We said the, the county government, Ikonakaziake, headed uh -huh. by the government. That one is very clear. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But then Pia unajua kuna kazi, kuna role ya MCA. Mm -hmm. MCA kikuja kuambia we're going to streamline agriculture and ambio jamaa atana sisi. <laughs> You know, you, uh, yeah. He doesn't have that. The MCA does not have. It's not mandated, Kabisa. He's not mandated to do, to perform the role of the county government. So I can say, man, I don't want to put some bail and bail and I don't want to put some bail MCAs don't don't provide subsidies. Uh -huh. MCAs don't provide subsidies. Same as MPs, they don't provide subsidies, but they should fight for you to receive subsidies from both the national, the national government. And, and functions from the county government. Mm, you see, anyway. slowly, we're breaking down the conversation. And at the end of the, this show, Diana, we're going to understand who streamline agriculture. Who streamline Who are you? And then it's before even, they don't have even have policies mm -hmm. in the first place. Uh, will, will I call it agendas? Mm -hmm. Because everything, everyone thinks they are qualified. Like yes. out of 10 youths, mm -hmm. eight of them, are yes. for MCA yes. out of 10 uh -huh. so they just think when they have good shoes and yes. then they have a better coat yes. and then they are well shaped uh -huh. they qualify to be an MCA yes yes so and actually before we can take this short commercial break mm -hmm. I want to challenge you to do this and you you as a viewer and listener go challenge your MCA your MP mm -hmm. your governor or Lisa they know you agree with your neighbor Urafanya nini in specific? <laughs> Sinta punguza beya, ta punguza beya ya mbolea. Uta punguza ukiwa nani? Sinti Aje. Sinti na kupia na punguza beya ya mbolea. Mbia kikuja kwa mbia, ta punguza beya ya mbolea. Uh -huh. mbolea. Uh -huh. Angujo ujama. Ajui kazi yake. Ajui kazi yake. <laughs> this is from Drive. Of course, we are taking a short break. When we come back, we shall have more of this. So continue tweeting. Mm -hmm. Continue just uh, conversing with us in our Instagram. Mm -hmm. That is Afama's Media. Twitter, yes. Afama's yes. Media underscore. So make yes. sure you continue to talking to us in this conversation and Diana before we can take that short commercial break yes there's something um, that markup has to tell you today markup markup is telling you this yes now markup um, and you need to mm -hmm. have been running this campaign of safe use use uh, use of the pesticides and it is telling you that yesterday we looked at the um, labeling mm -hmm. of pesticides mm -hmm. very which important. is very important uh -huh. today we want to talk about safe transportation yeah. Ume inunua sasa. Mm. Kutoka kwa uh, agrovet. Kwa agrovet, yeah. Sio. Uh -huh. Sasa, when transporting pesticides, always ensure that they are isolated uh, from food products. Ukiwa pale mm -hmm. umeka kugari, mm -hmm. tuwa mbali na, na food products, other passengers and livestock. So just I, keep I away food. from, do not mix these things. Yes. Eh? Yes, you have bought them together, but just don't mix them. Yes. 
keep them separately yes. when transporting because eh, likelihood that they might spill mm -hmm. when you're transporting with this uh, other stuff yes maybe food stuff oh? yes it's very high so it's very uh, likely that uh, you will get spillage from this pesticide and some of them are very harmful yes dangerous to one more thing diana yes pesticide should be properly sealed to avoid spillage as you sp as you said yes make sure yes. and this one is only possible when you're using the correct lady eh? yes and you're using the correct container yes. if today you're going to get uh, that container that mm -hmm. uh, the sanitizer uh, there mm -hmm. it's tightly sealed because eh, that is the lid that it came with mm -hmm. but the moment you start changing the lids mm -hmm. uh in a, in a cut through the same nafunga mm -hmm. you'll end up spilling mm. because the container is not tightly sealed yes. and even some of them when they come in contact uh, mm -hmm. okay watch ours is in a like let's take for instance uh, mm -hmm. petrol mm -hmm. okay watch ours in a, in a evaporating yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so some pesticide also mm -hmm. when they come in contact with air mm -hmm. they become even more dangerous yes yeah so very very important that you keep them tightly sealed yes and yeah. last one diana pesticide should be protected from rain direct sunshine during transportation as you said thank you very much diana <laughs> as we come back from this short commercial break we'll be breaking down everybody's role and what you should ask them this time round we we'll take this short commercial break we'll be back AgroVet shops are important outlets where farmers can easily get seeds, pesticides and other farm inputs that are vital for successful crop and animal production. AgroVets are very key to society because you find that the AgroVet attendant is the, the closest person, is the closest expert that you have who can advise you on the product that you can use on what crop. Agro dealers and their agents assist farmers in providing quality inputs. Here are some of the guidelines that a proprietor should look out for before starting an agrovet business. Choose a location that is suitable and does not pose any undue risk to people and the environment. When we are licensing the, the agrovets, we look at the physical structure of the, pro, the facility, whereby the facility should be well ven ventilated, it should, be, should, should have enough space, should have shelves, Business location is an essential factor to excel in agrovet business. Agrovets thrive well near agricultural farms. You need to consider the competition in the area. An appropriate agrovet shop has several qualities including accessibility to customers, security, adequate storage space, ventilation, adequate water supply. When starting your agrovet business, it is important to ensure you have a neat display that communicates reliability and credibility. Ensure you can distinguish between genuine suppliers seeking out accredited dealers to avoid buying counterfeit goods. Obtain a license from the requisite regulators such as the Pest Controls Board and display it prominently on the premises. To kick off a successful agrovet business, you will need to meet all the legal requirements. If you want to get into this business of uh, operating agrovet, the first thing that you should do is to get into our website, whereby you can uh, you can get a form, an application for, that is a premises licensing form, whereby you can fill the form, or you can visit either of our region offices in Nairobi, Nakuru, Kisumu, Mombasa, and Embu. Then you are you are required to attach your academic certificate, and you also attach we for you to be a licensed agrovet, you must have a license from the county government. You will need a county business permit. This is the common permit that is needed for all businesses. If you intend to stock seeds, you will require licensing from the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Service, KEFIS. KEFIS has come up with um, uh, different measures uh, to ensure that uh, 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 you know, the produce that is uh, placed in the market and also exported is meeting uh, uh, market requirement and also food safety standards. We analyze uh, agrochemicals, that's now the pesticide formulations, to ensure that uh, what's again being formulated and also sold in the Kenya market also meets 
uh, the set uh, specifications. You will also need to commit yourself to not sell counterfeits by signing the Code of Conduct on Pesticide Management through accreditation by the Agrochemicals Association of Kenya. Here, members follow the Code of Conduct on Pesticide Management, which the industry uses for self-regulation. Through the code, AAK encourages the best practices for agro-dealers, including responsible pesticide use and ethical business practice. Pesticides may pose risks to humans and the environment from manufacture to usage. One source of risk is during storage and handling at the point of supply to users. The pesticide should be stored under suitable conditions to maintain its physical and chemical properties until the end user receives it. Spillage could occur directly on persons handling them, contamination of food or leakage into the environment during the various stages of transportation, loading, unloading and storage. As a proprietor, you should prioritize the safety of your products. One way of doing this is through proper placement. Pesticides should not be placed directly on the ground or on areas prone to flooding. Floor spaces should be uncluttered in a way that permits easy inspection and to allow free flow of air. This also enables immediate cleanup in the events of any leakage or spills which will be easily visible. Containers should be well arranged to minimize unnecessary handling and to avoid mechanical damage. As a general principle, systems of storage should be flexible and adaptable. We have a, a curriculum that uh, we train our farmers with and it starts with uh, uh, encouraging them to adopt integrated pest management uh, which is uh, basically giving them options that they can use apart from pesticides. Once they understand this, they are able to uh, responsibly use the pesticides because they understand that they do not need to always resort to pesticides whenever they have an infestation on their farm. Remember, proper usage of pesticides increases yields and market access for your produce. Food safety is everyone's responsibility, starting with the farmer. Dawabora Mazaobora. Welcome back to Farm Drive. Yeah, it's Farm Drive. Farmers Media. Yeah. <laughs> and remember that we are live there in Facebook. Yes. Uh, if you're joining us, we welcome you to Farm Drive, mm -hmm. which comes every every day of the week mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Yes. We are always here to make sure that you get more information mm -hmm. on farm. Yes. And today we are asking, do you know the right question to ask a leader? Or mm -hmm. do you know who to task? Mm -hmm. when it comes to different uh, policies or different questions mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. uh, different questions that you mm -hmm. as a farmer should be asking this leader yes what are these correct questions that yes. we should be asking yes. those leaders yes and let's 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 begin this conversation with the lowest level lowest MCA. level mca member of county assembly yes yes the alikuwa uh, kidogo kajora kajora but back in the day councillor mm -hmm. so but they um, used to be old eh? ndio <laughs> Yes. Maintaining close contact with the electrolyte. It is their job to stay closer to you. Electrolyte is in a kwaga wewe. Wale nyo mepiga kura. Electrolyte. Anaka karibu na wewe. Anaka In fact, um, sana faku. Anafaku kwa na nyumba hapo kwa village, hapo kwa county. Yes. But hawe mwemea Nairobi uku. Wamekuja Nairobi uku. 
wametoka mashinani wamekuja Nairobi yes. I'm going to tell someone who is, who has gone to live in Nairobi I mean in transfer I mean Bungoma I mean Kakamega my MCS just moved to Nairobi my MCS just they don't even go to Mombasa because it's very hot but here yes Diana you know this even brings out brings us to that question that we asked mm-hmm. you have a corrupt extension officer who to report to it's to MCA and apostle kwa karibu na wewe Joe is role is to check the the, the county government mm-hmm. and the function of the county government and to distinguish between the county uh, county government CCs and also the MCA MCA fanya kazi za county assembly za 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 za, za, za nini county uh-huh. apasi kufanya it is a county government MCA fanya apasi kufanya hiyo so i think most of them don't even know their roles that's why they overstep yeah, i think that's why they overstep them, they overstep because maybe or oh, they just uh, they are too ambitious mm-hmm. to join the county assembly some day yes. so yes. i think that's where they overstep because if their role actually is to make sure that uh, they know mm. what's going on with those people who elected those leaders mm. and they're busy fighting up there you mm. see that is uh, exactly exactly and most of them are actually vessels of you know trickling down the interest of the governor in the mm-hmm. county government mm-hmm. it's really interesting so kazi ya cc si kazi ya county nini uh, mca member of county assembly hiyo ka, m- kazi ya member of county assembly ni kukuja mm-hmm. kukusikiza wewe mimi leo nimevuna ni ni na shida fulani yes niko na shida ya market kwa access market huko ni bala yes you see alafu sasa kama unajua mca anapaswa kupatia budget kidogo na na county Okay. Rapaso kupa a budget. Hmm. You should be given a budget. Kaki tukadogo, pesa kidogo. <laughs> what happens is I think your pesa kidogo ndio imeharibu. Your pesa ndio inaharibiga maneno. Sasa, your pesa kidogo ndio imeharibu. And it's where the interest come in. Uh-huh. Governor anamwambia wewe endelea tu kunipiga kwa county assembly, mtakata uh-huh. budget yako. But then they don't know it's their right to have that money. They don't because if uh, and then if it's threatened like that mm-hmm, eh, mm-hmm. utapata meo. Yes. Because I think those threat go into something else. Mm. Like actually they materialize. Eh unanipiga piga huko so tutaona. And then after while unaona amenyamaza amejikunja. Exactly. <laughs> Akipatia pesa now the place anaweza kuja kwa agriculture kwenu mm-hmm. ni kusaidia maji fike kwenu. Mhm. Yeah, yeah, irrigation ile ile maji fike kwenu irrigation mm-hmm. you see most of these things what akuje a facilitate vitu kama hizo ziki happen lakini like, now the functions of the county assembly of the of the county government and again represent uh, views opinions and proposals of, of the electorate amekuja kwa amepata maoni yako to the county county assembly anaipeleka huko anaenda wanaenda na discuss huko wapiganie wananchi na wanapigania vita wanapigania well, vita actually yes agenda sessions of the county assembly and its committees mm-hmm. so kama kuna committees about agriculture mm-hmm. committees should be more of um to connect shida tumepata kwa electorate ama yes. kupiga kura uh-huh. na hii ndio yule maneno tumepata budget ya county kwa agriculture ni hii how are we going to streamline ili e ministry of agriculture kwa county county level itapatiwa pesa ngapi na ngapi itaenda wapi It's all of the county uh, county county assembly county uh, member MCA. of uh, MCA member of county assembly afanye hizo hizo roles mm-hmm. hizi nyingine za kujituma uta streamline <laughs> ukiwa nani provide linkage in between county assembly and the electorate on public service delivery again um, that's something that uh, does not much affect the 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 the, the, the farmer but they should in terms of linkages in between public service is the um, extension officers mm-hmm. they they should make sure those they, people are working yeah, right those people are right there uh-huh. they've been provided and they're working they're not working. just being there so akikwaza kufanya kazi mca ndio na focus report huko yeah exactly petition uh-huh. shida kwa mca mm-hmm. yeah and the uh, and the last one we will be will be looking into is the extent of a professional knowledge experience or specialized knowledge 
to any issues for discussion in the county assembly. Again, this um, goes to Sana Sana advisory. Yeah. And that's the most basic person you should be asking them. How are you going to pressure the county assembly to help us have more extension officers? That's a very hard question. How am I going to pressure someone yes. to do something for you? How? Exactly. That's not the right question. <laughs> How? Yes. How yes. are you going to pressure? That mm. is for MCA. Those guys with the pseudo jackets mm. Mm. and and sharpshooter. Those are the yes. questions you should be the asking Haria. them. And they the... don't even have cars. <laughs> they just have good clothes. That's all. <laughs> By the way. So those guys with good clothes, good mm -hmm. shoes, mm -hmm. make sure you're asking them, how are you going to pressure? Mm. Because they don't have that uh, manpower to implement. Uh, yes. Like right now to lower the, the cost of a yeah, farming they, they can do nothing about that they can do nothing about mm. it so ask them how are you going to pressure them yes into making sure that the cost of farm inputs is reduced you know actually you raise a very good question nani nani yes we're coming right there in just a few mm -hmm. because the cost of farm inputs is not only um dictated by the county 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 government uh -huh. because the county government does not have the mandate to look into farm inputs uh -huh. it goes into the actual practice of applying oh. those, that knowledge uh -huh. and 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 experience now we are done with the mca yes so mulize tumesema mca mulize venye at a push at a push agenda zetu agenda zetu za at this level when you push county assembly, mm -hmm. you perform functions and you is a county assembly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Come use the implementation yeah. uh, exactly. prices to regulate prices. Uh -huh. That's not the work of MCA. Seek as the MCA. Like in a push. And as a push. Now, the county leza. government has uh -huh. a uh, more markets. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a push, of course, um uh, livestock. And animal husbandry, more um, more extension officers, mm. ground, yes. plant and animal disease control and fisheries. Aseme, wambie, tunashaka kulima, tunashaka kweka fish hapa. Yeah. Are you going to help us? Na mtake exactly. kumuaga kwa nini? Kwa yeah. ocean? Yeah, we, uh, uh, hizo zinaenda Uganda ndo tuliambiwa. So, <laughs> na venye mutaheza kuchinja ngombezenu na hizo vitu zote providing what to help. Yeah. That's, wanapaso kupressure na wakanti government ifanya. And that now brings us to the next person on the county on the county level. Mm -hmm. Talking the about governor. the governor. Mm -hmm. Governor don't That is the boss ahead. of the county bo county boss. On the county boss. Uh -huh. On the excellency. <laughs> By the way, it's in the excellency. Well, if you're going to be called an excellency. Who has higher powers between a governor and a senator? Absolutely. Um, depends on what in specific. Uh -huh. In terms of power on the money uh -huh. and the county budget, of course, ni governor. Uh huh. Wakati nakuja kwa implementation of policy or uh, uh, raising uh, awareness of policies and um, of course pushing the county's policy agenda, mm. it's the senator because that's their role. Unfortunately, we just base uh, we just base our judgment on those people who have a lot of money. We think they have a lot of power and they yeah. so. So basically, once kama ni babo a nyumba, wando na paso kulizwa. Mbona ile TV ko pale juu. Mm -hmm. Mbona hii ngombe inakula kwangu. <laughs> That's not the role of the governor. Okay. To implement the roles of the county assembly on agriculture. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. And basically it's as it's as much and it's as less as you can say it. Mm. Kila kan kila kila kazi tumesema hiyo ni kazi yao kufanya hivyo. Yes. Ku implement uh -huh. through the CECs sa hapo ndo ata delegate. Mhm. Mm Hizo vitu zote. And Governor, akikuja asema ata streamline, mm -hmm. uwe sasa mulizeni, utatumia pesa yetu aje ku streamline. Mm -hmm. Because akona function sasa. Uh -huh. So, gov functions. okay, governor, what are we supposed to ask the governor? Governor Mulize hivi, in your budget, how much are you going to, to, to put for extension officers? Yes. How many extension officers are you giving our sub-county? How many are we going to to be allocated? How many are going to be allocated? Yes. Uh, to serve specific number of people. Yes. Yes. Are we going? Are you going to allocate like hundred people one extension ex officer? Yes. The correct question are those ones. I think actually even it's it's the role of the county governor to ensure that we even know 
that these people are existing. Mm. Yes. Let them push. Let them. We have, nowadays we have media. Uh-huh. Nowadays we have media, even at devolved systems, devolved units. Media koko chini. We have. Even the community. Community stations. Yes, community stations. You know? But they again, for, eh? yeah. These people also have their. The problem I think comes in when these people mm-hmm. also have their people of the press. Mm-hmm. The governor has his own press people. Mm-hmm. So I think that's when things do not get really along because eh, mm. w- they always think huh, they are saying the correct thing. Those mm. people from the oh, Naskia, uh, Presia governor eh, may refute your claims. There were those claims, you remember just uh, some time back when a reporter just exposed another governor in western region mm-hmm. and then the, the press now came out and said like, no, New Wongo, Sijuini, mm-hmm. your story is Yeah, uh, actually, and it's not the role of county governors to corrupt media houses right there. So, um, <laughs> as you can say, and they, they should perform their duties. And actually, um, also, when it comes to livestock sales, yards, we mm-hmm. come with those mm-hmm. county mm-hmm. governors are the people who should be providing these now. Now they're in charge of the they're county. The people. They're in charge. the county bosses. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You've been given, you've been allocated money. And you are also, remember, mm-hmm. collecting revenue. Ah, yeah, yeah. Remember? Pilot yes. mm-hmm. So it's your role. So is a person who enters county government? Yeah, person who enters, you need your own 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 source revenue. Mm-hmm. Your own your own source revenue. Nile mm-hmm. anyamna create nini? I'm going the exchequer, the national the national treasury. Yes. Okay. You just say you only put thirty bob books in my ngombe. Yeah. Twenty bob mama mboga to make sure. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Ah. Yeah. And it is collected every day, by the way, religiously. <laughs> Out for our people. Again, when it comes to I don't know what happens. Uh-huh. And it's even the role of the of the governor uh-huh. to streamline. Now, okay, come on, to streamline. Let them streamline the collection mm-hmm. of this money. Mm-hmm. You know, and then from the collection of this money to when you tell Rudy, go out to. Mm-hmm. Ama venye itasaidia wa watu. Yes. Because it's only if you only kilipa pesa hapa. Eh. Hirudi hapa tu kunisaidia. Nipate market ni safi. Nipate choza market ni safi. Yeah. Vili kama hizo. Nipate hapo kwa mboga. Like kuna hiyo stole nye neza jikinga jua kali. Yes. Mm-hmm. County government should also provide. Um, governor na paso kuambia. Venye itasaidia. Mm-hmm. Vili kama viazi zimeleto. Uh-huh. KFC imeamua. This is the, um, uh, uh, the variety that you're going to use. Yes. Sasa county governor anapaswa sasa ku push your product ifike kwenu. Mhm. Anapaswa ku push ifike kwa county yenu. Ah, you see? So if there's anything like he's supposed to advocate for the rights mm. of the people of the mm-hmm. county. Of the exactly. And actually it's not even advocate, it's even push. Mm-hmm. It happen. Mhm. Wajua well, county gov- county MCA na za push. Mhm. Lakini hezi fanya kitu sana. Lakini governor kwa na yu ma- Governor sasa uh. Ndwa kwa na yu power Ya kuvuta hizo resources ishuke mm. As the role of the county governor Now, we're done with the governor mm-hmm. Closer to him is an MCA Ama yu mo Nowadays we have hers uh-huh. now, Closer to the, to the governor We have a senator Actually I can't distinguish a governor and a senator mm-hmm. Their roles Now, actually There's something that we needed to even ask uh-huh. Now, the right question to ask this person, Mwaliza uh-huh. ila market, hanyi alianza kujenga 2013, ata imaliza lini? Mwaliza <laughs> kama ata wakia cho pale kwa 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 exactly. kama uh, is in charge of uh, building yards, ya yes. kuunda, ya kuuza hizo ngombe? What they do uh-huh. is that they create an enabling environment of it to happen. Yes, so ata wapatia yo place, yeah. ata wapatia yo sayomu mjenge soko. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, they should do that. They should actually do that. It's their role those to do that. Those are the correct question for those vying for governorship. Yes. You know what you're going to ask them. Yes. How are you going to help us? Are you going to give us a space, mm-hmm. a conducive environment to do our business? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. At the county level. And then, um, of course, now we go to the senator. Mm. Senator Kaziake ni moja. Mm. Sana sana. Kuovasi. Kuovasi. Functions of the government, of, of, uh-huh. of, the, of the, of the, of the, um, of the of the county so this one just the watches MCA, apart from the mca who overseas mm-hmm. senator and i represent interest sasa mm-hmm. what happens is 
apart from the council of governors who meet nowadays utapata county inataka vitu mob inataka ku allocate your more money for these national government inataka imepata pesa mm. maybe kutoka kwa um, different sources yes inataka kutafuta venye pesa itashuka hmm. kwa county govern, go, mm. government mm-hmm. governor apart from that anapaswa kutumia senator actually senator anapaswa kujituma and make sure county yake imepata kitu yake ana push interest za county mm-hmm. and again as a senator you should be even questioning after my push is your interest unapaswa kuuliza governor umeweza kufanya kinyo tulisema mm-hmm. they check the so, governor so his main job is just to make sure that the governor is working yes so kama tumeambia governor mm. okay right now we need uh, a market mm. to sell our cows mm. the function of the senator is to make sure that uh, the governor is really providing that place yes to make sure that we get a place where we are going to sell our cows right yes yes sasa and then now there are those mutual problems that counties zitakuwa zikipitia mm-hmm. fertilizers zimepanda mm-hmm. ni nini this affecting everyone utakuja huh? sasa wende to the senate mm-hmm. to discuss some of these issues aseme kwamba For example, kuna barabara katika county yetu yenye uh-huh. kuna shida. Uh-huh. Tunaweza pata pesa aje kutoka kwa national government ishuke kwa county ile yes. barabara iweze ku- kutengenezwa. Eh, ipitishe fresh produce. And that's the role of a senator. Mm-hmm. You see? So, what uh-huh. do we ask the senator? Senator, muuliza hivi. Katika zile shida zinazo tuko nazo. Kuna zile zenye county government uh, county government iweze mm. handle. Mm kama atuja advocate pale juu yes what are you going to do about it juu kazi yake ni kupeleka interest za county pale juu oh ndio maana most of them in their speeches mimi ndio nimetetea yani mimi ndio you know understand it uh-huh. yeah that's why they always want to take credit of mob uh-huh. and sisi tulifanya ni sisi tumesukuma exactly uh-huh. exactly that's what now the count, the senators do mm-hmm. apart from checking we also um you know look into uh, interest the county go- government yeah and everything around there now we've talked about a senator mhm tuende kwa kwa mtu anaitwa mp member of parliament yes member of parliament hapo ndio uongo inakuwa actually this that's back way back way back mm-hmm. uh, mp's like uh, in any those ones mm-hmm. i don't know from the word go mm-hmm. maybe we were, we were just used to it, they were doing nothing yeah like mbunge wangu afanye chochote mm. mm. yes now because they only walko anga tasked eh? yes. kujenga barabara yes. barabara zikiwa mbovu mbunge yes. Mm-hmm. yes now but now that the things have been developed to government mm-hmm. Eh? Mm-hmm. what is their function now their function mp uh-huh. kazi mp i would say kazi zake ni, ni mingi kidogo lakini mm-hmm. kazi yake the main we could push for the interest zile interest zinaguza zina national government mm-hmm. at your level yes pesa national fertilize kipanda mhm muulize mbona hajatetea wakulima pesa ishukishwe mhm ama hata wapewe zile subsidies exactly kwa nini au regulate the food uh, pricing ya food exactly in as much as the failure it's the failure of the we will say the president mm-hmm. of not helping uh, the price of food to go down mm-hmm. it's also the failure of your mp for not fast even tabling a bill for the reduction of that of that of that price or at least regulating yeah exactly making sure that this ung of maize the 2 kg ung of maize mm-hmm. will never surpass 115 bob exactly that is the work of the mps why ndo wa is why peter uh, 115 yes. he chase kwa 114 and even mm. 50 cents like yes. Yes, peter 115 shida wa majama wengi kama hao mm-hmm. wako no business ama kuna interest <laughs> into some of these businesses so they, they actually own us some, also. some of them even are owners mm. of these millers mm. and they, they will hardly do that and that's why you need to go ask him what has what has been your role in advocating for the fall of food prices muulize hiyo swali straight to the eye mhm what is umefanya nini ku make yes. sure kwamba food prices mm-hmm. inashikishwa yes umefanya nini because food prices iko hapo bado wewe unatuambia mm. 
food price ijaanza kupanda saa hizi yeah. it has been racing steadily pole pole tu yani yeah. uweze ku notice wakati unaenda kununua sukari unapata imepanda na tu bob unaona it is just Diana, it has been racing steadily then can i tell you one interesting thing yeah in as much as we always want to blame president uhuru for ama the president mm-hmm. for the high cost uh, of living less the just in general also uh-huh. the debt situation mm-hmm. in the country mm-hmm. do you know who has been passing these bills the mps it's the mps mm-hmm. at the committee level and the body of your parliament pale mm-hmm. co- collectively what how do you people who have been doing this? that mm-hmm. and actually if they come back to you straight to their eye ask them what has been your role in in fighting against the cost of living fighting the against rising the cost, cost of, of living. living exactly yeah what is your role mm-hmm. and you know cost of living comes e- even to the farm inputs yeah straight exactly you know it's really interesting if that the roles right now at our general zone again mm-hmm. because ome ome kwa so hijacked by the national government tukiangalia hmm. kutoka kwa executive ome kwa so hijacked they even don't know they should be advocating for our rights right there yes. they, they don't know that they don't or they just like uh, after all we are in power selling ikukuja you know or uh, you know it was um bill ikukuja mm-hmm. ya kupandisha debt ceiling debt ceiling ni mali hiyo debt ina pesa isipite hapo wana pitisha bila hata kufikiria right now they're coming to you back to you and telling you oh tunajua cost of fertilizer mepanda and if they didn't raise if, if, kama kuongeza pesa ile debt uh, ile debt, debt ceiling ange kuwa ile debt ange kuwa imepanda sana mm. which means the government will have money to subsidize fertilizers it's, a, it's always a ripple effect and a direct or ripple effect okay so mp wako muulize coming up you know mm-hmm. akikuja kwako mwambie muulize swali straight to the eye what have you done to make sure Reduce. that the cost of living fertilize imeshuka mm-hmm. farm inputs imeshuka you see actually it's really interesting that this conversation is um really hard because we have seven minutes to the close of the show yes. and we have to look at the role of the of the of the women rep women rep in your small groups uh-huh. that is saving money uh-huh. and growing as a group even at, at personal level mm-hmm. you as a lady you as a uh, you know as a group of women mmekuwa mm-hmm. mna kabencha kenu kadogo yes mnataka kuweka empowerment kuku, mm-hmm. kama hizo mm-hmm. that's exactly what you do in your show yes women empowerment it's their role to advocate for that uh-huh. so mp akianguka women rep pia muulize ni nini umefanya pia to advocate for your rights as ladies as uh-huh. women mm-hmm. you know Olize mbona pesa inaendelea kupanda na mnajua mbona pesa ifike kwa right when there. this uh, let's say we have set a group mm. of uh, rearing chicken mm. when we do not get funds mm-hmm. are we supposed to task women rep if you are ladies and you have a group that wants to unataka unataka kuweka kuku what you do is first reach out to the uh, w- women, women rep, rep. Mm-hmm. let them help you get funding for the same okay you know uh-huh. because what they do they can be um tasked directly wana kuaga na ka budget kao kadogo sikuizi wanapatiwa ka affirmative action kidogo wanakuja wanapatiwa inakuja kusaidia katika maybe start startup capital ama kusaidia tu biashara ianze ama iendelee so ladies actually you are even more fortunate you should be blaming women reps for the cost of living uh, for the cost of um of maybe doing business because they should be advocating for your rights yes you know ata ata kwa hizo farm inputs waulize mbona mtutetee because kazi yao pia ni ni kuwatetea pia yes and even women are farmers by the way yeah women in agri business yeah a you lot you should be doing that and lastly we want to look into the functions of the president just one minute president as we said he heads and spearheads the national government yes and every function that has been delegated to him by the national by the constitution kila kitu inakuja kwake muulize mbona policies zinakaa vibaya mbona mshukishi pesa am subsidize mbona hakuna research kuhusu tukiingia ndio tutafanya hiyo yote kfc hizo vitu zote 
kama tunataka a very good variety of potatoes that is uh, competitive mm-hmm. dana this is a very hard conversation we are having right here in the middle of an electioneering period i think we'll give our audience some time to think and we think about the questions to ask who as, lo- as long as you know the roles of each and people, every person you will know what to ask them uh-huh. dana before we can come to the end of this show you have some final words before we can you know go to the african um a farmers probably day. yeah of course uh, mm-hmm. i'll just say that uh, look at that person mm-hmm. yeah we are all going to the election period mm-hmm. and just ch- chances of that chances mm-hmm. that we will produce less food than uh, than any of the years huh? mm-hmm. uh, it just give a red alert mm-hmm. like we should be very careful on those people we are going to make huh? yes. leaders in the parliament mm-hmm. know the right question to ask mm-hmm know the right question to ask mm-hmm. and to task each leader mm-hmm. those who have been there mm-hmm. may elect him to barabara and amekuja kuanza kujenga the fourth year yes. why are you taking him back again yes you have elected someone alikuwa anasema oh sijui wakulima hii sako iko cooperative nitaamsha mm. hajaamsha yes look again before you just elect that person back to the office yes thank you very much diana and um this is a conversation that we will still continue educating our farmers yes. to ask the right questions of what the how and the when yes exactly. how when are you going to implement and when so it won't be after 10 years is only going to implement <laughs> because most of them are uh, fine enough nowadays wanatengeneza uh, barabara wakianza the fourth year ndio sasa wasema acha nirudisheni huko nimalize project wacha msimrudishe huko amalize project wacha mwingine aendeleze sasa come on right there yeah yeah ask them ask them kazi yako unaijua dana give us the proverb of the day the proverb of the day is um an army uh, my producer is just putting it up uh, right now uh, the proverb of the day uh, an army of sheep uh, led by a lion can defeat an army of lion Mm. led by sheep an army of sheep led by a lion can defeat an army of lions led by a sheep wow i love yeah. that look at the leadership yes <laughs> tell us what does it mean uh, if you have that strong person mm-hmm. leading a weak team yes now us electors are the weak ones yes so if you have that person who is strong enough to lead us mm-hmm. we are going to get the right result yes but look at the person ni watu ni wakubwa huko nje Uh, alafu mwenye ana walide no look at the situation of Go- david and goliath mm-hmm. goliath the army was not actually feared mm-hmm. it was feared because goliath had a big body mm-hmm. now it, the the other army was feared because of him mm-hmm. but when he was just stretched down what happened the other army just ran away yes just it just mean that if you have a strong person mm-hmm. there in front of you mm-hmm. then you're going to succeed yes. but you if you put now the wrong leaders there mm-hmm. then we are going down the drain Are you trying to tell us that uh, the high cost of living has been because we've been led by sheep? <laughs> yes, actually I've been <laughs> selecting <laughs> we we chose sheep. Yes. And then the one that I've been advocating for us. Uh, yes. So, where are we right now? Suppose we could have done it better. Yes. Ah. Uh, And doing it better is asking the right questions. Right question, right answers, right output. Absolutely. Thank you Diana. Thank you for being to the part of today's show. It's my I pleasure. I hope you've loved it. Yes. Because I think we in that period <laughs> where everybody needs to know something. Uh-huh. Thank you very much for coming um and stepping up and stepping in and sitting in for Dora who has been who has gone a little bit away and but is coming in but she told me she's watching mm-hmm. the the conversation and I know, I know she loves politics. I wish she was also here <laughs> to be part of the conversation but there's a time we we'll all of us here. Dora, thank you very much. Uh-huh. We, we should do that. We I, I'm, do I'm sure Dora loves politics and she's going to help us even drive this conversation even more and more. Presenting this show has been Brian Munda and I'm Dana Mdega. Thank you very much for watching and until next Monday. We say have a great weekend and make money. Any final words? Eh, uh, make money and uh-huh. then come share with us. <laughs> <laughs> come on guys. Bye. Have a lovely weekend.